Vafangulorati. This is our review of episode number three of Mafia States of America. You know, basically two rats arguing with each other, two notorious rats. Hope you enjoy it. It's kind of funny. At least to us, it's funny. You know, but hopefully you enjoy some of the clips and our commentary on it and whatnot. Uh, when you leave your comments, let us know what you think about the whole thing. So during this sit down, Sammy the Bull tries to attack Michael Franchise because he's calling Michael Franchise a rat and Michael Franchise denies being a rat. Now you're going to laugh at this clip. One thing to take note of is look at the fake bodyguards in the background. They're looking like robots and stuff like that. It's hilarious. So Sammy the Bull's going to fake, you know, try to attack. Michael Franchise, it's hilarious, so just watch it. Is there anything you want to say to Michael in regards to cooperating? What can I say? He read it. He cooperated. He cooperated with the fucking government. He wanted to get on his fucking high horse. I didn't send somebody to prison. He met with the fucking government and read it. You're a fucking rat. You want to talk you. about respect? You want to talk like that? Point your fucking finger at me. Oh, what are you going to do? What am I going to do? I'll break your fucking... What are you going to do? What am I going to do? I'll break your fucking face. Like, what the fuck Sammy, I'll do? Let me tell you something. I'm putting me in your category. My fucking category? Let me tell Sammy, you something. Right. You're not this was years ago. You'd be fucking right. dead. Generally? Yeah. Well, it's right now. What are you going to do now? Don't. Sammy. <laughs> Look how Sammy the Bull tried to run around the table like an old man. He said, nope. Watch. Watch it again. Category? Sammy, right. you're not this was years ago, you'd be right. fucking dead. Generally? Yeah. Well, it's right now. What are you going to do now? Don't. Sammy, 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 I went 30 Today. minutes over. I went 30 minutes over. Michael, I went 30. This is my fault. Well, tell him to stop this garbage. You want to talk you. about respect? You want to talk like that? I went this 30 minutes over. This is a sit down. That's how you handle yourself? When you talk to me like that? The fuck you, you think you're talking it. to? I'll Sammy. fucking I'll eat you alive. Sammy, Michael. I'm talking to you, I'll Sammy. I'll fucking eat you alive. Stop the baloney. This you can talk to me in front of these fucking people here. That's what, in front of him. I'm we, not impressed. Do it away from this fucking joint. I'm not impressed, Sammy. Sammy, understand? out of respect, I, my respect to you, if you respect, I say we take a break. I take responsibility. I shouldn't ask that question. Well, you Gerard, ask the question. He don't know how to answer. Gerard, let's let's cut it. You okay if we cut it now? Let's just cut now. Michael, I'm telling you, we've gone too long. It's been eight hours already. Let's just take a break. All right, let's Haven't eaten for a long time. How to talk. Sammy, you're okay. Yeah, I'm I'm at, I'm at. So also during the sit down, another funny thing is Sammy the Bull keeps mispronouncing Omerta as Omerto. It's hilarious. You know what I mean? He's Sicilian American, but come on now, bro. This is just so funny. Check it out. I don't, I don't know what you're trying to say, but what you're I'm trying, trying to say I'm not trying to say wrong. nothing because when you come out with this whole fucking thing about Omerto and this is the way it's done and this is why I walked away. You're putting down this whole hundred people, and me, and everybody else who did cooperate. No, I'm not. So you're showing what Omerto is. No, I'm not. And I'm showing you're part of breaking that I, thing. I, I, I said I opened this up by saying I betrayed my oath. I yeah. broke my oath. Yeah, I, yeah. I yeah. understand you broke I, I told you I what, I told you what my... different ways. Sitting here is breaking your fucking... hundred percent. And there's no walking away from the mafia. Then what did I do? You should get killed for it, but okay. you did because you had reasons. You said your father even wanted to kill you. So well, they wanted to kill you. Well, wait a minute. That's what the government said. My father never admitted to that. The government said of course he my father went along said, with the conscience. You, yes. you just said that my father even went along with wanting to kill That's what they told me. He denied it, but that's what the government told now, me. And you want to know something? I believe it. I be so another thing that Sammy keeps talking about during this uh, quote unquote sit down he keeps saying that John Gotti Jr. is a rat, and that was covered in the review that uh, episode number two. So you could, you know, check it out there. Sammy the Bull also says that if he could go back in time instead of becoming a rat, that he would whack John Gotti instead. That's he says that, right? So let me speak on that a little bit. 
personally, I don't believe that seeing me the bull was going to that, you know, he had the balls to try to whack John Gotti. I don't believe that, you know, so he talks about plotting on doing it when they were in prison and then they postponed it in case they got out of prison to whack him later on. In my opinion, in my opinion, he was scared of John Gotti personally, because you get to handle that while you were in prison. That's my opinion on it. Let us know what you think about that. Either of you regret breaking the oath or not? Would you, if you hadn't done it again, would you, would you have done it the same exact way when after you heard the if recording? If I would have done it a second time around, what I should have done, I was in jail with John, I should have killed him in prison. That's what you should have done. And did life without parole. Without why, a doubt. Why is that? Because that's what I stood for all my life. And I, I, at that point, that would, that would appease my fucking bitterness towards mm -hmm. Cosa Nostra and him. I, would, I should have killed him. Now, every time I go on the street for a murder, to me, that's a suicide mission. I'm doing a violent fucking act. Cops, or something happens, it's over for me. I never talked or thought about a murder or cooperating or not cooperating. I was gonna shoot it out. So when I went out on the street, it was like, when I go here, if it goes haywire, if it goes south, I'm gonna die here. I was pinched twice on two, two murders that I didn't commit. Let me give you the last one with uh, the ice man. Rich, uh, Kuklinski. Kuklinski. I didn't, I have nothing to do with this fucking murder. And uh, I'm pinched. The state of New Jersey comes to me and they said, listen, Sammy, it's a cold case, killing of a cop. It's 23 years old. We just want to solve it. He's telling me you did it with him, really. You got 20 years with the feds. You got 19 with the state of Arizona running together. We'll give you 20 years with the state running together like the Arizona is. So you won't do a day. All you got to do is come in and apologize to his kids and tell us who's in the cars with you. I said, I can't apologize to his kids. Why? I didn't kill him. I don't think I could look at his kids in the eye and I'm sorry that I killed your dad. I don't think I could do that. Then you'll do fucking brand new dirty to life. That's what you face. Good. So be it. My lawyer told me, Sammy, you're fucking crazy. No, I'm not crazy. I'm gonna take a chance. So I took a chance on cases all my life. Chances of hitting the street. So that was the worst day of my, the best day of my life was when I got made. There was other great days, get married, all, all kids, all kinds of things. The worst day of my fucking life is when I cooperated and broke the oath. I don't give a fuck about nobody else. I have to look in the mirror at myself and I don't like it. I don't like what I say or what I did. So there's a difference. By the same token, I have to protect what I did and what I am. So I got some little bitch sitting at home with a fucking computer, you fucking rat. This motherfucker would sit at the same table with me and if he did, I'd be picking his fucking bones out of my teeth. I'm not just a racket. I'm a fucking full-fledged gangster. I may be a little older, but I'm still. So that's the way it is. And, and there's guys who went out there like Fat Cat Nichols, I had a tremendous respect, man. So when I gave him and I understand what he did. There's an understanding of everything you do in life. There's a part where you tell that I saw you, where, where the, they were talking about how you asked the feds to let you get back in prison for two weeks to be able to face off with John, to tell him to his face that you're about to flip. Were you in that moment conflicted whether you were going to tell him or whether you were going to kill him? Like your decision no, I, hadn't I, I been yet made? Kill him. Me and Frankie Lacasio, when we were in prison, it was out there. Frankie agreed, that was the story. And that's why John put a contract on him. We met in the hall. Frankie told me, he said, Samuel, I'm, nobody ever talked to me like this in my life. He had tears running down his face. Tough guy, true tough guy. I looked at that and was sickening. He said, I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. I said, Frankie, 
We already killed the bull. It's gonna kill another one. And I, I was just as mad as he was with John at that point. And he says, yeah, you're sure? Yeah. I put my hand out. As soon as we get out, we'll kill him. I was so fucked up in the brain by this betrayal, I didn't even think it. We could have just killed him right then and there. Sharpen up a couple of shanks, the two of us. Walk into the cell, I'll cut his throat, you keep stabbing him, all you want to do it the other way around. But instead, we, we were so fucked up with him. We were talking about a victory party. There was going to be no victory party. That's how we were going to kill him. And he told me, he said, Sammy, all I want, I want to pull the trigger with it. Because pulling a toss, hey guys, once you've done it, who cares who pulls the trigger? And I told him, if that's what you want, you got it. I'll have my guys, I'll bring them to a restaurant and I'll get rid of the body. And they will claim he never showed up or whatever. I said, but one more thing, Frankie. I'll never ever be anybody else's on the boss again in my fucking life. Never. I'll be the, the boss when we get out and we kill him or I'll fucking die trying. Said, Sammy, I'll be your underboss, I'll be your captain, I'll be whatever you want, I'll be behind you a thousand fucking percent. All I want to do is pull the trigger with him. I put my fucking hand out, we shook hands, and we left. That weird mentality that we were so hurt, that's what we thought, we walked away, and then we got separated, we couldn't kill him no more. Sammy the Bull also says that Allegedly, John Gotti was going to rat on him and make him take the, you know, the charges along with uh, Frankie. And that that's the reason he ratted on John Gotti so that John Gotti couldn't rat on him first. I'm going to talk about that after I show the clip. And then finally, we had this meeting on August, uh, middle of August with F. Lee Bailey. He tells F. Lee Bailey, I'm not going to do the time. Don't worry about it. We're going to go to a victory party. F. Lee Bailey tells him, no. No, this case is too strong. You ain't going to no victory party. No, don't worry about it. Uh, Sammy and Frankie, I'm, they're going to take the fucking weight in. F. Lee Bailey wouldn't take the case because of that statement. And he was in an interview just recently when Jerry Capisi has on his head. Three months was August, September, October, November. Three months later, in November, he sits with me personally. We're gonna work with the lawyers. You're gonna take the weight and I'm gonna go free. You really want that, John? The boss has to be on the street. Okay, and I flipped. First time in my life. I've pinched all my life from 14 years old up until fucking 40 something when I went into prison. So anybody who knows anything about John Gotti, his history, his jacket, you know, when it came to uh, Gosa Nostra, that doesn't make sense. What Sammy the Bull was saying. Why? Because even when John Gotti got convicted, did he rat? You have some idiots who say they wanted him. There was nobody he could rat on. Of course there was. John Gotti was part of the commission at the time. He could have ratted on Vinny the Chin, a bunch of people, and that would have been a big celebration for the federal government. So when Sammy the Bull says that, that's just his way of justifying being a rat at the end of the day. If anybody believes that, that John Gotti was, you know, telling his lawyer, yeah, let Sammy take the fall. I don't know what type of stuff you're on or whatever, but it's bullshit. It's the basics of it. Also during the sit down, Michael Franchise says that him and his father, Sonny Franchise, were actually plotting to take over the Colombo family and to make Michael the boss and Sonny Franchise the underboss. Check it out. So to answer your question, I didn't want to be the boss of the family. At all? No, no. I, my father, on the other hand, okay, listen to me, Mike, and this is it. Bide your time, you're gonna, we're gonna end up taking control of the Colombo family. This is what he said, for whatever reason. We he, or we? We meaning me and him. Meaning you being the boss or him being the me boss? Me being, being the, the boss, boss because my dad was on parole for the rest of his life. So his aspiration was for you to be the boss yes. one day. How he, often he, would you guys have that conversation? Often. 
Okay. And I was to tell him, Dad, no, 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 listen to me, bide your time. You know, I was very, very upset. I was a captain. He was a captain. He comes out on his one parole by He had five violations. And Junior breaks him from his captaincy. He's a soldier now. I'm a captain. My father's a soldier. It was embarrassing to me. I said, Dad, how could they do this to you? I said, I don't get it. How could they do this to you? I was very angry about it. But my father, the voice of reason, he said, look, Mike, this life is like a, or no, this life is like a wheel. It was on top today. Things change tomorrow. Keep your mouth shut. Bide your time. It's going to be our time. That's what he wanted. I didn't want it, Sammy. I'll be honest with you. But that's what he wanted because that was his mindset. And I think my dad believes that if he didn't go to jail and get the case that he got, he had enough respect and he was very capable. And I think he would have, I think my dad would have been a good boss. I mean that. And maybe that would have happened I mean, to him. You know, that would have happened in that family. I can't, Our family I was so messed up all the time. Would it? Lastly, Sammy and Mike will talk about nepotism and how it weakened the mafia. Before I go into that, let me define what nepotism is, and then we'll talk about it, and let's see what your opinion is on their views of it. Okay, so here's the definition of nepotism. Nepotism is defined as being the practice among those with power or influence of favoring relatives, especially by giving them jobs. So during this quote unquote sit down, Sammy the Rat's argument is that the practice of nepotism, which in the, in the case of Gosenosha means made men giving precedence to sponsoring or proposing their, rel their blood relations to be made. So Sammy's argument is that that weakened Gosa Nostra because it allowed for individuals like Michael Franchis to, to be sponsored or proposed ahead of other guys who were more more qualified in terms of being made. So naturally, Michael Franchise's argument is that he he himself was worthy in that he was as qualified as any other guy. So if you watch the sit down, like I said, a lot of the topics are very redundant and whatnot. But um, naturally, Michael Franchise is going to, you know, have that bias. You know what I mean? Because his father was Sonny Franchise. So that's pretty much, you know, what, what that, you know, topic deals with in the sit down. So, again, let us know what you think in the comments. And we'll catch you on the next one.